Hi, this is Dana Rocky again, and I just wanted to show you a case that came into our office, um, a patient that came to our office and had been going to a dentist for quite some time and was just had too many questions regarding their teeth and so really was looking for some um, answers, looking for some education as to really what was going on, was sort of dissatisfied somewhere else. So the patient came to my office and what we do, as you can see, is we take x-ray um, pictures and here in this office I take uh, what I call intraoral camera. Uh, pictures also. And so part of our job, or I should say most of our job, I think, in the office is education. And, that, and in this particular case, that's exactly what the patient was looking for and to help understand really the concerns that they had. They were concerned about two things. They were concerned about the grooves along the gum line here of the teeth. And it, it took a while to educate the patient into showing them that really what was going on here is that a toothbrush was actually cutting into the side of the tooth here. And so it takes a little while to explain to them what, why that happened, what recession of gum tissue, exposure of the root, and then of course the toothbrush doing the final cutting into that. Here we like to fill those in with white filling material and make those blend in. A, to protect the nerve that's inside the tooth. B, aesthetically make that look different. And C, hopefully getting some strengthening um, from the filling too after we've, uh, you know, the cut in the tooth. So we can fix that. She was wanting to know about that. And really what drove her into the office was this dark tooth that a, a previous dentist didn't uh, want to work on or didn't seem to indicate was an issue. So we took photographs, as, as you know, and x-rays, and it had a very uh, large silver filling on the inside that had been there for many, many, many years. And the blue-gray color here, um, as it turns out, was cavity. So here we have a, a very old filling that's in the tooth here, and we have a lot of leaking going on around the filling that's in the tooth because the filling was no longer sealing that. The bacteria was able to get underneath there. Decay had started extensively under this cusp. And of course, when she smiled, she could actually see this tooth. So in this particular case with a large silver filling here, uh, a great portion of this cusp on this outside being undermined with cavity and, and unfortunately had be, to be removed. And this cut along the gum line here, I recommended putting a crown on the tooth because that would be the solution to cover all the problems, strengthen the tooth, protect the nerve inside the tooth, and satisfy her requirement that no longer, when she smiled, she'd have a dark tooth to look at. So in this particular case, finances was not an issue. It was simply a matter of lack of education. You know, she didn't understand what was going on with her teeth and wanted answers, and, and apparently we satisfied that here in this office. So uh, using the tools that we have now with uh, digital um, radiographs and uh, digital intraoral photos, it's just the best thing that we can be able to educate the patient, show them what's really going on, and help them make the, the decision as to what would be best for the tooth. So thanks again for watching. Thank you.